The Bell Museum and Planetarium reopened to the public last week, and I found out what's new at the Planetarium. In the Planetarium, we are giving tours of the summer night sky, and what you can see this summer is Jupiter and Saturn in the south. They're really close together and going to be getting closer and closer through the end of this year. Are they easy to see with the naked eye? Do you need telescope, binoculars? How should we do this? You do not need telescope or binoculars to see Jupiter and Saturn. You can see them by eye. Jupiter's the brightest point of light in the sky at night by far, and Saturn's not too far behind it. So tell us about the new planetarium. I mean, it's not technically new, new anymore, but you guys have only been open in the new location for a few years. Uh, how is it different from the old planetarium? Well, this planetarium is digital. So that means we have two great laser light source projectors covering the dome with all sorts of astronomical images. And beyond showing the stars and planets in the sky, we can take you on a 3D tour of the solar system and the universe. What are the rules for uh, visiting both the planetarium and the museum here in the COVID era? Well, overall in the museum, we definitely require masks over the nose and mouth at all times. And we are making sure there's enough room for all groups to be safely distanced. So in the planetarium, we are blocking off every other row of seats and we are keeping at least three seats between each group that will get to that more than six feet in between them. And we are lowering our capacity to about 25 people at a time. So an intimate show, yes. very cool. Um, the, the museum as a whole is also great. I have visited within the past couple of years and for people who maybe have been to the Science Museum of Minnesota and think, oh, I've seen all that. Your museum is, is very different. It has some very different exhibits. And there's one in particular that stands out in my mind. It's very big and woolly. Ah, yes, the woolly mammoth. So our upstairs exhibit gallery is called Minnesota Journeys, and it's a walk through Minnesota, but it's starting at the beginning of time. We take you through really what makes Earth special in the universe, and then you do a walk through Minnesota from the Ice Ages to today. So that's where we encounter that woolly mammoth. So there you go. Uh, I actually saw Saturn in the sky this morning. It's right near the moon. So check it out if you want. Or you can check out everything indoors because that's a cool way to do it. The cost for the museum tickets is 12 bucks, $8 for the planetarium, or you can get a discount for both if you buy them together, Jen. Pretty cool stuff over there, Mike. Thank you for showing us that.